followed by Rangatawa Ray. Here comes Franco Emerald out wider. Franco Ledger is in heavy traffic. Marcy's pulled to the outside with Major Mark. Down to the 200 metres mark. Still our leader is Ohoka, Texas. But Franco Emerald has stormed onto the scene. Franco Ledger out wider. Rangatawa Ray on the inside. It's Franco Emerald in front. Franco Ledger is trying to cut the margin back. Franco Emerald on the inside. And oh, I'm not sure. I think maybe Franco Ledger has just got there over Franco Emerald. Well, Hamish doesn't get much better than this. No, no, we're on top of it, top of the big cake, aren't we? <laughs> we step halfway down. Yeah, so it's just uh, I think it's the speed, the travelling, and um, you know he's asked for a big effort over the last um, 200 metres, and yeah, he put in a rough one. He's never done that before, but once again, I think it's the speed they travel. Yeah, he settled. You got back into it real quick. Yeah, very quick. He corrected himself. Yeah, that was good. The, the start, amazing. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he just got the click at the right time. And, and um, when, he, when he clicks, he clicks, yeah. So where do we go now? The plan remains the same, obviously. Well, we'd like to compete in a few more, uh, probably a, at least one more before the Cup, and we'll see how we go. All right, probably Ashburton Flying Stakes, maybe? Possibly, Possibly. yeah. All right, well, watch the space. Congratulations, you're a genius, my man. Well done. Thank you very much. Well, Benny, as they say, the dream is over. Yeah, it's been a pretty good dream, but um, we had another go at it, and, uh, yeah, look... He's not bad, he's not far off, but I know where you need to be and he's not there. And we've asked a question and the answer's no, but no harm done. No, look, 150 odd dollars just to ask that question, but at the end of the day, he deserved another shot at it. So with him now, he's going to be the man around the place that takes care of the babies. Absolutely, just like he was and not much has changed really. So we'll just go back to that. It probably surprised such as a big deal that come out of it. Probably didn't be quite aware of what, how it was going to be. Um, um, that's the sort of stature he's held in though, Monkey, to be fair. Yeah, and it's all about the horse, like Robert said, and you know, that's a credit to the horse, you know, it's not about us, it's about the horse. So that was um, a little bit overwhelming, and so I just thought we'd pot away quietly, was it quite like that, and I can understand that now. Um, probably would have been a different story if I hadn't retired him and we'd just turned him out and brought him back. Maybe a little mistake, maybe not. But look, I think no harm's done. Hopefully no one's too angry about it. You know, we've asked a question. The answer's no. It's, he's, look, he's not far off, but I, like I say, I know where I need to be and he's not quite there. So look, he's just back to um, doing his thing and we'll enjoy the cup week anyway. anyway. They, re they work their way up towards the corner now. 300 metres left to run. High view, Tommy. High tails it for home. Out by about a length and a quarter. Sushi, Sushi on the inside, just waiting for the better's delight passing lane. Here's Auckland Reactor tramping home centre track. And Terra de Love's been angled out by Ricky May and is roaring home down the outside. It's flying home like it did in the cup. And Terra de Love waltzes away with it. Wins by a length and a half going right away from Sushi, Sushi. <laughs>